So do you want to know how this V3 hyperspeed is built, what components they're using, whether the switches are good, what the processor is, what the MCU is, and this is the one for you. We're going to take this thing two bits and look at every single bit, weigh it, check it out, and I'll give my impressions about whether you should be picking up this mouse or not. If you're not familiar with who I am, I'm Bearded Bob. Been around gaming 35 years, more than that now probably. I've got 230 plus mice. I know a lot about mice and a lot about keyboards. So if you're into gaming peripherals, this is the channel to be on. Right, let's take it apart. The V3 Hyperspeed from Razer. 58 without battery and 81, 82 with it. The big flap. The compromise the sensor position for the AA battery layout. Like the way that goes up, that's where the sensor is so far forward. It's not because they want to design it that way, it's because the battery location compromises the sensor. It looks like we've got four screw positions one, two, three, four. It's like a torque screw, that looks like. T6. We got three screws. Plastic rivets, which is horrible. Interesting PCB. trying to save weight again right you've got this massive pcb and these little side switches in it i knew they were small so their switches can tell how they feel i don't get it what is that pcb it looks like it's got the mcu in it maybe get the old man eye out and go so it's gone n52840 anyway it looks a little bit excessive for uh, side buttons i gotta be honest it feels like we can't take the side buttons out by the way i'm not gonna pull them out anyway been riveted in. Whoa. It looks like discolored switches. <laughs> I hate the sides, I hate micro side switches. My slice. People just put full size switches in, but again, no reason in this mouse to put cheap side switches in it because it's not light anyway. Yeah, everyone's trying to do their switches to save weight, but this mouse isn't about weight, or you won't put a freaking massive juggernaut double A battery in it, would you? Do you know what I mean? Like, this I'm so confused again look see they're trying to make <laughs> they put this hexagon pattern on to make it lighter but not on the main part of it plastic riveted sides if you were in just to you know confirm KL Opto MX in this. No, I was expecting to see Gen 1, 2, or 3 in it. But you say the Gen 2 Opto MX, don't you? But 
Maybe they are just with Kale branding, I don't know. Or Kale have been making their switches. Got three screws on. One, two, three. Yep, good old ribbon cable. I'll get this uh, LED out. Try not to damage it. Oh, just about got it off. Not the best. Three uh, screws, one, a two, a three. So she's in the TTC 13. This is a hell of a shirt base this, holy moly. Look at it. Look at it. There we go, the uh, Hyper Speed V3 Viper in bits. I don't know whether it's good or bad. Interesting using Kale. Optimax, slightly different. Small side buttons as everyone seems to be using. Just a weird construction. Slightly off centered um, weight as well on it. So it's at the front without the battery on the, over the sensor. And with the battery, it's further back, which is not ideal. It's a nice shape. This, I prefer this shape over the V2 Pro, right? but the design of it is just weird.